What's going on everyone, it's your Rifle here, and in today's video I'm going to be covering the Queen Breaker's bow for you all. I know I'm a little bit late covering this exotic in the House of Wolves, I have been behind on my videos here lately, and I do apologize for that guys, but I wanted to bring you guys a review for this weapon because this is my favorite weapon in Destiny. Well I take that back, I guess it's a fine line between the thorn and this weapon to be my favorite weapon in Destiny. Although they are completely different weapons, so I can't really compare them, but yeah, those are my two favorite exotics in this game. This weapon is absolutely crazy to play with guys and it's a one shot kill in the head in PvP so not to mention this weapon is an absolutely PvP monster depending on your game style. In my opinion this is the best fusion rifle out of all fusion rifles but it is a completely different fusion rifle. It acts as if it's a sniper rifle. But before I get started with this if you could take a little bit of your time and like the video and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. It is much appreciated, guys. Thank you all for the love and support. Alright, so now let's get on the road of this review of the Queen Breaker's bow. First off, the weapon frame of this weapon is a wire rifle. You know what the Vandal snipers use? Yeah, that weapon. That is the exact frame of this weapon, Queen Breaker's bow. So, I thought that was pretty interesting. And for the perks for this weapon, obviously it is arc damage. I mean, the stream of the shot is blue, so that kind of pinpoints the damage type. It also has marksman sights and combat sights. Marksman sights is meant for long range battles. It does have a slower charge time, so keep that in mind if you are using marksman sights. And also it does have greater damage, but I tested it in PvP and it doesn't one shot kill people. I mean, if you do land a headshot though, this weapon automatically kills anybody in PvP in one shot. It's going to be a two shot kill if you land a body shot and same with the combat sites so I had found combat sites to be more useful in the PvP world. But for the PvE world I guess it all depends on what kind of situation you are in whether or not to use marksman sites or combat sites. As you guys can see right here though I am using marksman sites for my situation against the tank in the Optimus Prime strike. And yes for those of you wondering I know I just said Optimus Prime. Don't judge me. Actually judge me all you want. Anyways, Doge, to continue on with the perks, it also has hip fire on this, which has bonus accuracy while firing from the hip, which can come in handy while using a fusion rifle. But for my gameplay, I prefer to zoom in and aim for the head, typically. Personally, in my opinion, I wish hip fire didn't exist with this weapon, and they would add it unflinching, just because of how much the weapon seems to shake when you're getting shot at. But I guess the shakiness with this weapon while getting shot at is when the hidden hand perk comes into play. Hidden hand perk is basically an auto aim feature. It's an awesome perk to have, especially on snippers. And well, snippers in this scenario, because once again, this fusion rifle acts as if it is a snipper rifle. Snipper, no snipping. Sniper, no sniping. Oh man. Anyways, a disadvantage I actually found with this snipper rifle is if you're going up against a sniper in the PvP world, it seems the sniper is at the advantage just because the sniper doesn't have a charge time. Makes sense? Yes. In the end, I guess it all depends on your dodge skill and also the sniper's skill going up against you. It also has single point sling, which allows you to switch weapons faster and you can move quicker while aiming, which I don't really find this perk that useful out of the three perks that you can choose from. It also has flared magwell, which allows you to reload the weapon even faster, but the weapon already reloads fast enough, so this also isn't my typical choice out of these three options. The choice that I normally go with, and it seems to be the best option, is send it which increases the range and accuracy on this weapon, which is a deadly combination with combat sights. Lastly, the last perk on this weapon is Hidden Hand, which gains you better target acquisition. Basically, it's an auto-aim feature and very handy for getting your headshots on point. The Queen Breaker's bow is the highest range of all fusion rifles. Its projectiles even travel quickly as well. It travels exactly how those Vandal snipers are shooting. You could probably even confuse some other guardians in patrol, or wherever, if you start shooting at the other guardians, they'll probably be like, what the heck? Where's the enemy at? Because it works exactly like the Vandal snipers. And like I said before, it is the Vandal sniper. It's a wire rifle. This weapon is amazing. It's one of the three choices that you get from completing the Elder Cipher, which you get from the Prison of Elders level 35 or 34. It seems the Elder Cipher drops more frequently in the level 35 than the level 34 though, so keep that in mind guys. Another pretty useful feature about the Queen Breaker's bow is that it can also hold a ton of ammo. I had found out when I was picking up special ammo in the PvP world, I was getting 30 plus special ammo each time I was picking up special ammo, so I was stocked. I'm telling you guys, this fusion rifle hoards more ammo than a doomsday prepper. It's crazy how much ammunition this weapon can hold. And not to mention how fast it can kill as well. A lot of ammo plus kills fast equals, once again, 
deadly combination. But yeah, guys, I guess that's about wrapping up this review and gameplay with the Queen Breakers bow. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this review, but I'm out of here, though, everyone. As always, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video to, once again, leave a like and or share the video if you're feeling really generous with your old rifle. Once again, guys, it is much appreciated. The love and support continues to help my channel grow, and for that, I can't thank you guys enough. But I'm out of here, though, everyone. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the rest of your day, and remember to stay safe and, well, don't sleep and pee. I guess that's very crucial information to also share. Peace out.